we are now going to discuss how one might go about monitoring droughts and assessing their potential impact. So to do so, we need some data. The data one might want to use here is naturally climate data or weather data, specifically, uh, for example, recent precipitation. So let's pick from the weather set and the GFS, the precipitation. Um, so the idea would be if we look for areas where in the recent past there has been generally low precipitation. And then we could add, for example, um, minimum temperature. Um, here the rationale being that, you know, if the temperature is high, um, the effect of low precipitation, of course, um, increased or increases the impact of this quite a lot. So now that we have these two data layers, let's pick an area. So for this example, let's pick um, part of Ethiopia, where there have been droughts in 2017. And now we can filter this, okay? So let's add as a filter here the population density, um, with the idea being that, um, you know, in areas of low population density, the effect of uh, the drought is maybe not that problematic. We're interested in areas where there's more than five people per square kilometer as a density. Now that we selected this filter, we should pick the time window. So today is uh, March the 5th, and we said, you know, let's go a bit into the past for the precipitation and a bit into the future for the temperature. And we can do aggregation here. So for the precipitation, we pick the sum to get the total. And for the minimum temperature, let's take the mean. It's maybe the most relevant quantity here. So to say this again, we're now querying for areas in East Africa where uh, there's population higher than a certain threshold. And for these areas, we're considering the um, accumulated precipitation from the last four days and comparing this against the mean minimum temperature forecast for the next three days. Okay, Of course, here, um, we actually uh, approximate the accumulated precipitation by its forecast. Okay? So we submit this. And as in previous examples, uh, we've actually ran this query previously. So we can take a look at the result immediately. So you see here now, this is the population density, OK, where um, we've scaled uh, the color chart a bit so that you know, red areas are sort of you know, going to saturation at 250. And then you, know, you see here, uh, how some areas have been cut out where the population density is very, very low. And then we compare for these areas the um, accumulated precipitation. You know, so We see there's been a very low precipitation in the west and in the east. And similarly, we can compare this with the average minimum temperature, you know, which um, not surprisingly is very high, specifically high here in the east. 